Hey guys, welcome back to Doug's Basement Workshop. So one of my big problems here in the shop has been dust collection for the CNC machine. Now right now, if you're not familiar with the room you're standing in, this is the CNC room. The CNC is sitting right there. My computer is right here. I don't have a dust boot for my CNC because I cut down really close often. A lot of the dust boots, the fibers are so long that they get caught in the spindle. Yes, I know I can trim the trim the hair, the fiber around them, the or the boot, the brush, what I don't even know what it's called. So I run my my CNC open, just shooting dust every place. I have a fan behind it that blows a lot of the debris off the bed and off the rails to keep it all clear so it's not going to get jammed up and gunked up. It also helps keep the CNC motors cool and the circuit board from overheating. Now, that means all the dust blows this way across my room and lands on the floor. I have to get all that stuff picked up. So I went looking at the bucket head thing. I did a video on that. I'll put a link down below. That bucket head only worked for three months and I love that thing. The portability, the size was great. And I really wish that had worked out better for us, but it didn't. It was a huge fail. And I am so disappointed in that. I actually bought two of them thinking that I had done something wrong. Come to find out it's just a product that's not meant for heavy use. And obviously in here, picking up, cleaning up after the CNC machine, I put it through a lot of paces. So I was looking for a shop vac dust collector. I already have a cyclone. Um, the one that goes on top of a bucket, you drill the holes and you cut the hole out of the bucket and it goes on that. And I had that hooked up to an old shop vac that I've got. And that thing is awesome. And I had that hooked up in the other room, which I can't get in here because there's a table sitting there where my old laser is. And I couldn't get it around and into this room. And I wanted to have a dedicated machine in here all the time so I wasn't trying to run it back and forth in the same day, trying to keep this, the CNC clean, and have it so I could use it on the chop saw, the sander, and the bandsaw. So I went out and bought a rigid shop vac because it has that dust collector port thing, that dust collector that comes with, this, with it, or you can buy it separate. I love my rigid shop vac. I, this thing is great. It's the first, second rigid tool I've ever bought and it works great. I love the way the handles snap together. It has this little ridge thing where you can push together different distances. Um, it's great. I love it. I love the length. I love the size. I hate it's all proprietary hosing. I can't use a hose from one of my other machines on a rigid tool. That's a bummer, a big bummer. So I had bought a kit to go with it that had the, another hose, but it's a replacement hose for a shop vac, not an extension hose. So the hoses won't connect to each other. I have to go out and buy an adapter. I get that Rigid needs to make money. They're making tools that last a long time, so you're going to make me jump through hoops to get stuff to work. I really wish you'd have just told me I had to buy an adapter. I still don't have the adapter because I don't go to Home Depot that often. So, yeah, I still don't have an adapter, but I have one hose for this thing. And it works really, really well. So, up here in the corners, I hopefully have stood relatively still enough that I can put pictures in the corners as I'm talking. With the serial number model numbers for this machine, because I don't have the stuff with me. I take all my instruction manuals and pamphlets into the farm house and we have a filing cabinet and we keep all the manuals in. So yeah, I like it. It's great. It's got great suction. I can run it for an hour out here cleaning up and it doesn't overheat. It's not had any issues. I've had it for about a month now and it still runs really, really well have no complaints about this shop vac at this point. Now I'm going to build a cart for the shop vac and the dust collector together 
So if you want to see that video or see the cart that I built and how I build it, so it's all in one unit and I can move around back here in the CNC room, let me know and I will do a video of the cart being made. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe. If you're just here for the product review, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get myself monetized. I do several product reviews on different things as I get them from my shop, trying to make it run better and work better. This is something I've been struggling with is dust collection back here and a way to clean up in this room. I found it and I love it. There's going to be a link down below for a review on the bucket head, the, the dust collector that goes on top of the bucket. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.